in a way, Bach is one of the great composers of curly cues and um, eddies and whirlpools. Uh, there's sort of incredible moto perpetuos scattered through the whole Goldberg variations. Even the first variation, the first one we go into, is a great example of the way that Bach composes out this endless running note idea. It begins with this sort of mordant idea, then rising, mordant again, and then the right hand begins to wander its way down to the place where the left hand ought to be, and the other hand picks it up. back up to where the right hand ought to be. And they both go in contrary motion. And the right hand has its own now new kind of arpeggio based idea. Up and down. And now the left hand crossing. One beat of contrary motion, back in, and they meet together in the middle. Um, then in the second half, taking up the same way as the first. We meet a little complication in the river of notes. What we call in music nerd speak again, uh, the hocket, where the hands constantly alternate sort of in a way chasing each other up the, down the keyboard and then back up and then bam. And now the right hand takes up the sort of arpeggiated second idea and it enchains it together in the same way that you would think of in the theme. Climbing. And then kind of does a hocket within itself. And at the last gesture, the hands come together and meet in the middle again. I mean, there's a million little details of how those notes are constantly interesting, even though they never stop. And there's kind of a sense of friction and gravity and all kinds of uh, scientific slash expressive forces at play in the way that Bach writes these streams of notes. At times, it does seem to become a mania rather than a pleasant sort of, for example, the seventeenth variation, the Bach is, starts this sort of inchworm of, of notes. Which always gets my fingers a little uh, discombobulated. In particular, they get confused when to stop, because it, it doesn't seem to want to. Having reached this, this point here, then we inch back. Yeah, so there's all, all kinds of things like that. Um, and then maybe even more bizarre and unusual and extraordinary is the, is the one right after the famous Black Pearl variation, the 25th, right after the sort of most despairing variation comes this outrageous stream of uh, sextuplets. The left hand has to has to do it in the same way and, and it, it never stops. There's no there's no rest from gentle streams to wild raging rapids.